Hi, my name's Ben Osu. You're watching LEP TV, and this is the LEP Annual Conference 2018. Okay, so just for, obviously you know this, for the camera, um, just give us the name, your name, your organization, and what you do. Great. Now? Yeah. Okay, so hi, my name's Robin, and I'm from O, and we deliver alternative education for creative people. So it's Robin with a Y. Robin with a Y. And your surname is Dooley. It is Dooley. And how do you spell O? OH. <laughs> and James, what's your full name and job title? So I'm James Parr, I work for Jackal Productions and we are a video production agency based in the Baltic and I do uh, business development and brand development. And you're both happy for us to use this interview to go out on LEP TV and other market materials as well. Thrilled. Get it on there, absolutely. <laughs> um, so Robin, James, tell us a little bit about what you've learned today so far and how it's going to impact your business and, and moving forward to make sure that you guys are prepared for growth and for the future. Okay, so um, I thought it was really interesting when people uh, voted for their priorities um, in terms of what are our priorities for the future and the majority of people voted skills. Um, so at O we deliver alternative education uh, for creative people and we basically upskill people enough to be able to kind of embody what the future world of work looks like. Uh, so I think it's really interesting to see the impact our work's gonna have, uh, not just on the city, but also for the sector that we work in. Um, and also kind of Jen from Grant Thornton, what she spoke around, kind of it's very cultural or people centric and I couldn't agree more. Uh, so for us, it's about working with students to start kind of like helping them understand, you know, what their purpose is and what the company's purpose is that they wanna work for. I think for me it was all about the challenges facing the region. I think being a scout, you almost kind of have that sense of pride already from it and you almost kind of gloss over the fact that there are challenges and you almost only want to ever see the positives. And I think coming down to this event, you're almost kind of aware that actually Liverpool is in the shine and beacon of positivity already. You know, there are still challenges faced, but not challenges that we're unequipped for. You know, we're more than capable of pulling the young people that Robin's talking about, so we're more than happy with uh, getting the, the resources that we have to offer and getting it out there. And I think that's what was really kind of uh, passionate for me as well, for our line, is that there's so many stories and so many things that need to communicate and going forward. So as a production agency, we're here to kind of really drive that forward and make sure people are kind of, you know, utilising every possible thing that the city has to offer. Lots of talk about millennials and skills and growth and um, all that kind of stuff. How do you guys see the Liverpool city region developing in terms of that? And what can the city region do to make sure that we do keep these um, young people here or attract new young people to the, to the city and the region? Yeah, so I think, um, I think Liverpool in terms of its culture and its brand nationally, I think everybody loves Liverpool. When they visit it, uh, they love the personality and everything that the city kind of like represents. But I think in order for us to kind of like be ahead of that and to, for us to attract more people, uh, we really have to start understanding the fact that investing in young people is no longer philanthropic. Uh, like, you know, it's essential. So when you look at programs such as Catalyst, Agent Academy, Liverpool Girl Geeks, uh, STEM, all the work that's happening within kind of upskilling millennials and just kind of exposing them to what the industry has to offer. I think more and more needs to be invested into that uh, to make sure it stays alive and then to get more people from outside the city interested in what we're doing. So we get a lot of people now from London, Belfast, Glasgow, Manchester applying for our programmes and for us that's, you know, that's a really positive thing. So how do we keep bills on what we have to offer to make sure we're attracting more young people? So yeah, I think it's about kind of like recognising what exists in the city and really supporting that yeah. and getting behind it. You mentioned the Agents Academy and you are one of the products of the Agents Academy. How important was that experience for you? It was fantastic, you know, it, it made me you know, really kind of think about what the personal skills that I already had and how to use them. And I think what we were talking about inside was, you know, upskilling kind of our youth in the our millennials in the city. It's not about teaching them new skills, it's about developing the ones that they've currently got and making them passionate about things that potentially that they would have never have kind of gone into. You know, video production. I'm a graphic designer, print. I absolutely love print and now I'm in a digital kind of video realm. So I think it's all about using the, the kinds of um, almost like the kinds of materials that we have got already and developing new ones. You know, as Robin says, we've already got this massive thing about culture, uh, you know, hospitality. Everyone comes to Liverpool for, and they, oh, they love a night out. Oh, they love to come in to see the football team or listen to the Beatles. We need to produce more of that. I think we need to have more layers to the cake of why people are coming to this city and not just for those three kind of things that have been widely known before. Guys, thank you very much.